we want to do now is provide power to our DE0CV board and then provide power to our breadboard for our discrete components. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up Quartus 2 and we're going to look for the file. We're going to get the file that we need. Under Quartus 2 we're going to go to Tools and uh, do a pull down and we're going to bring up Programmer. And I will actually put that on uh, a, a picture on the report. But once we do that and we add the file, we want uh, the breadboard interface SOF, and so we're going to add that file. <clears throat> we're then going to go ahead and get our power from our DE0 uh, CV board, and we're going to plug in our, our connection, and so we have our connection into our board somewhere. Can't find it connection into the board and we also have the connection into our laptop <clears throat> USB connection and so once we do that we see that our DE0 has power and there's the default program that's stored on the ROM and automatically programs the FPGA once we provide power to it and so we're going to come back to our Quartus 2 software and we're going to we've added the file we have to do a hardware setup it's going to find the USB blaster. If you have problems finding the USB blaster, just let your TA know. But you, it should find the USB blaster, and once it does that, that is the, that is the uh, interface that we use to program our board. <clears throat> and so uh, once it finds the USB blaster, then we should be able to program. We can then come up and press Start, and once we have Start, then uh, it should say Programming, and we get 100% successful. And we come over here, and this is what our DE0 board looks like. Okay, from there, I will uh, give you some snapshots of the um, interface with the cables, but we'll stop this for now.